Hello, Lawrence Grayson back again for shortformvideo.com with another After Effects tutorial to get your teeth into. Now, uh, everyone knows if you want to be taken seriously in the tutorial community, you need to create a tutorial that shows some kind of facial distortion. Mal Tannen has his excellent form face tutorial, and of course, Andrew Kramer has his excellent demon face warp tutorial. So what can I do to compete against these two giants of the motion graphics industry? Well, I thought I'd set my face on fire. So here it is. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do this. It's really, really simple and doesn't require any extra plugins other than the standard toolset featured in After Effects. First things first, I have this uh, rather uninspiring piece of uh, footage showing me mugging horribly into a camera in a dark room. I was actually uh, holding an iPad above my head. Look at that. Face only a mother could love. I was actually um, holding an iPad with a white screen above my head in a darkened room to get that uh, dark and light effect. Now, ideally you want to keep your face fairly still for this and you need to put the light in such a way that you get these nicely defined areas of shadow around the cheekbones, the eye sockets and particularly the mouth. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, create a quick garbage mat just to uh, mask the areas off that I want to use. Now I kept my head fairly still in this um, shot so I shouldn't need to track the motion at all. So let's just see how that sticks around. Okay, that's pretty cool. Looks like a Bohemian Rhapsody video right there. Um, might just feather the mask a little bit. Just to soften those edges even further. Okay, that looks pretty good. Next step is to crunch the levels down a bit. So uh, find the levels color correction. Drag it onto your footage and uh, we'll be playing with these sliders in the histogram. What you want to do is uh, bring the white point down and the black point up and play around with the, uh, the midpoint just to really kind of bring those light and shade areas into stark relief. So that's the end result we've got there. Looks pretty good so far. Okay, next step Type CC Toner into your effects panel. Drag that onto your footage. Now the default settings here are white, black, and this kind of uh, crappy brown color. So we want to replace that with uh, some more interesting flamey kind of colors. So we'll pick a nice strong orange and swap the white for a kind of bright yellow. Okay, I might just... Uh, pick a more red version. So the next step is to actually create the flames that we want to use. So we'll uh, just hit Control N, create a new composition and we'll call this Fractal Fire. Create a new solid, call it Fractal Noise, leave it at black, make sure it's the uh, same size as your composition composition. Type in fractal noise into your effects and presets and apply that. Now we just need to make some changes. We're going to select the uh, dynamic uh, twist and uh, leave it on soft linear. We'll just uh, check the invert button. Increase the contrast to about 390. Just get that nice uh, shift between light and dark with the timeline indicator at the beginning of your timeline. We're going to hit the uh, stopwatch for evolution to create a keyframe. Move the timeline indicator to the end. Now I'm about six and a half seconds, so we'll go for about 15 revolutions. And that'll give us this nice rapid evolution cycle that you can see here. And now we want to make that move. So uh, we're just going to twirl down the transform the timeline indicator at the beginning of the timeline, check the offset turbulence, move the timeline indicator to the end, hold down shift and drag the Y value to about minus 2400 and that'll give us this nice rapidly moving flame effect rising up the screen. Now obviously you can play around with these settings to your heart's content, um, these are just, this is just a guideline to uh, give you a starting position. Okay, go back to our face footage. 
grab the fractal fire composition that we've just created onto the top, right click on it and select blending mode stencil luma and all of a sudden we've got our flame effect scrolling up in front of our face or my face not your face though it will be your face if you never mind so that's looking pretty good um, but it's not quite flame like and you can still see that uh, it's a pattern going up a 2d object so we need just need to give it that kind of um, heat haze ripple effect just to make them look a little bit more like flames so how do we do that well it's really quite simple in your effects and presets panel type in displacement map or display drag it onto the face footage we'll scroll down I'm going to change the uh, horizontal displacement value to the alpha channel and increase the amount to 10 and then I'll choose the red channel and set the vertical displacement at 10 as well now I'll just uh, render that out So there you go, my flaming face, ready to render. Um, obviously, feel free to play around with any of these settings, and you, you may you can have a lot of fun with the uh, the fractal noise patterns in particular. Um, hope you found this useful, and I'll see you again next time.